why was cornbread not the sourdough bread of of 2020 why did we have to go through that like why did i i took me like a week to make a bread and i could have had this every morning <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. Good morning, it is Sunday and we are making brunch. Something about everything about this brunch, there is a story connected to it. I've been thinking about brunch for weeks or the lack of brunch in my life for absolutely weeks. I have been thinking about making cornbread for maybe months. I've been thinking about finally using my cast iron skillet for close to a year. So a lot of things have had to come together. <laughs> Planets have really had to align for me to make the brunch that I'm about to make. I also saw this picture on Instagram this week and I was just like, you know what, this is it, this is it. It's happening, it's happening, it's happening this weekend. So today I'm gonna make some kind of like brunch. <laughs> it's not gonna be like a typical American brunch. It's gonna be as close basically to this picture as I can get because everything about this picture just looks super, super appetizing. Cornbread is obviously the main feature there. And yeah, we're just gonna roll with it. The most important thing is obviously gonna be the cornbread and the recipe that I'm gonna be using is by The Kitchenista. If you don't follow her on Twitter, you should. The reason I have picked this recipe at this very moment is that she has been doing <laughs> the Lord's work in the last few weeks um, within the food community across all her different social platforms, basically um, sharing some insights to some negative things that have been going on within the food community particularly against black women and black women in food and other recipe writers bloggers that are basically from various ethnic backgrounds who have basically had their recipes and cultures bastardized by uh, a particular man in the industry she has been doing the lord's work in exposing this bringing this to light sharing this with the world and for that reason we're dedicating this video to the kitchen easter and we're using her recipe for a buttermilk skillet cornbread the recipe is on her blog, which I will link in the description. So I'm not gonna like talk through that. But what I will do is basically, I've converted all the ingredients into grams and also Celsius if you're over here in the UK. So for ease, I will write that in the description. But if you're looking for the method, I will just put a link and it will be on her blog. 10 to 10 <laughs> and I'm already hungry. So let's get going. So the first thing I'm getting to is actually gonna be to roast some pecans. And that is because at the end of um, Angela, the Kitchenista, her blog post, she basically lists a variety of butters that you can make to go with your cornbread. So I'm gonna try and do the maple pecan butter, which involves me roasting some pecans first, chopping them up, mixing them into some softened butter with I think it's maple, cinnamon, and something else. Again, all of these recipes are just within one blog post, which is linked below. So pecans first so that they're out of the way and out of the oven so that the cornbread can have the oven to itself to do its thing. I will, as I just mentioned, finally be using my cast iron skillet. Um, if you haven't seen the video of me seasoning this, it is on my channel. If you have one that you've never used too and want to know how to get stuck into it, just do it one day, season it, have it ready and have it ready to go so that you can also make brunch one day. It's a super simple actual method in terms of the recipe. It's kind of just all dry together, all wet together, but to separately combine. So I've already pre-measured all my dry ingredients, which are all listed in the description, but we've got plain flour, cornmeal, um, baking powder, baking soda, salt, and then a little bit of sugar. This is a mix of buttermilk and sour cream, two large eggs, and then separately in a second, I'm gonna melt down some butter straight into the skillet and then the mix goes in the pan. <laughs> Thank you. 
some bread batter in once the butter had stopped foaming, but my butter was browning, like it was almost brown. So I just put it in, <laughs> smooth top and put it in the oven. We've got 20 to 25 minutes now to assemble the rest of breakfast before that comes out. And then we will be eating the cornbread warm. So gonna have a little fried tomato moment, gonna have a little fried egg moment, gonna have a little bacon moment, which I'm gonna have to fry because now somebody's occupying the oven. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just do. cornbread this looks incredible this smells incredible like the feel of this oh my lord the bacon's literally I've turned it off but I'm gonna assemble plate up and I'll see you on the other side because wow in shock or and amazement that I have pulled this off. This is exactly what my soul was asking for. Cornbread, bacon, fried tomatoes, mushrooms, a little bit of avocado, and this I am buzzing to try. A toasted pecan maple cinnamon butter. I don't even know where to begin. Okay, I do know where to begin. We're gonna begin with some cornbread, just on its own. We're just gonna... We're just gonna take it, I'm just gonna show you it. I'm gonna show you how moist and scrum diddly it is. I'm just gonna... That's the one right there. Now we're just gonna apply some of this beautiful, um, whatever the hell I said it was, I'm too excited. morsel of bacon to have with a tiny bit more cornbread. I think I finished eating about 20 minutes ago and I've just been sitting here thinking about it. That wasn't an American breakfast. I don't think there was anything <laughs> at all classic about that breakfast being any particular type of breakfast, but I think it's my new favorite breakfast because everything on the plate was exactly what I wanted. Like, it, it, every, it, yeah. And this stuff, obviously I did not eat the whole bowl of butter that I showed you guys, but this stuff is incredible, like incredible. I think I could have put a little bit more salt. I put a little um, flaky mold and salt in here. I think I could have put a little more, but the fact that I now have like <laughs> nine tenths <laughs> of a cornbread over there, I have more of this butter. I need to go drop some to my parents just to get it away from me because I'm so full but it's so good. Ugh. I don't know if it says this in the actual blog post, but you do not need a cast iron skillet to make this cornbread. I chose to do that because that's something that I've seen done in cookery programs across like soul food, South America, um, not South America, South of North America, um, like recipes from New Orleans when I went and just, just various like inspo that I took that I really wanted to do that with, but as long as the entire pan or the entire vessel that you are choosing to make this in can go in the oven, it can be warmed on the stove, obviously to melt the butter initially, then the whole thing can go in the oven, use that. So the frying pan I actually used to do my bacon in, I could have used that, which is a non-stick Le Creuset pan. Um, the whole thing can go in the oven. So don't feel obligated to go out and buy a cast iron pan if you wanna make this cornbread, but I will say, feel obligated to make this cornbread because if you haven't made it, if you haven't tried it, if you haven't experienced what I'm experiencing right now, 
I should have done this in 2020. Why was cornbread not the sourdough bread of, of 2020? Why did we have to go through that? Like, why did I, I took me like a week to make a bread and I could have had this every morning. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you are enjoying some kind of Sunday brunch today. If it's Sunday for you, if it's any other day, treat yourself, make yourself a little cornbread, have it with bacon for an afternoon snack if you must. Definitely check out the Kitchenista's blog and all her other blog posts. She does not need me plugging her. She is like a, a global phenomenon, but I will plug her anyway if you've never heard of her. The recipe for the roasted pecan butter and also some other options are available in the same blog post that I will link. So just scroll right, 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 right to the bottom. I will see you in my next video. I'm gonna go take a nap right now. Oh, what a start to the day.